Hey agents, it's Manny. After completing DUA on Legendary, I decided to try my hand at Roosevelt Island. And after about a week's worth of practice, finally able to complete it. Please remember, this is not a speed run, and I think in total it took me about an hour and a half. Most of the time was spent trying to figure out how to take out the quadcopters at the end. It's a long video, but not a complete playthrough. I try to break down each part and let uh, you know my thoughts and some gotchas during each encounter. I also don't include my build because I made a complete video on that. You can find a link to that video in the top right of this video and in the description below. Before we start, if you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button and ding that notification bell so you know when there's new videos. And if you're looking for someone to game with, you can find me and other players in the Militia Discord server. The link is in the description below. Yeah, so this is a pretty long one, so I'm going to try to cover certain areas and what to look for and what not to look for. I'm not going to show the complete gameplay. So in the first area, we're going to toss our turret up over here on this mound here. And then we're going to hide behind this uh, concrete wall. And as always, we're going to try to poke around the right-hand side. So what you want to look for first, you want to kill medics and you want to kill grenaders. Those are the two you got to look out for the most. Medics simply because they're just going to keep reviving everyone. And the grenaders because, well, they're just going to spam three grenades at a time left and right and kill you. As you see here, I'm, that somebody ran to the left. I got to take care of him, but he's marked, so I can actually shoot someone else and kill him. Just got to watch that left-hand side. People keep sneaking in there. For example, there's another one, right? Because that's the deadly part. As long as you keep them all in front of you, you're all set, but they will try to go over there to get you. The turret's going to keep them from rushing on the right-hand side, but do not allow them to, uh, tap, to target the turret. They'll just burn the turret real quickly, and it'll be down and cool down, and that'll suck. This area has three waves. The first wave is already present. The second wave spawns in once there's about two guys left. And what it consists of is a couple of medics, a couple of grenaders, and a purple dog. The third wave that comes in has another couple bunch of medics. It's like, I think it has a yellow medic, a blue medic, and a purple medic, and it has a yellow dog. Sometimes the dogs, uh, from when you're hiding all over here, the dog will actually stay where it is over there and not actually engage you, which is kind of nice. So that's it for this one. Just watch your left, kill the grenaders. You can see they're grenading me now, and I knocked out my shield. You got to be careful with the grenaders. That's it for this, this. We'll move on to the next section. So just keep watching left, shoot them on the right, and just kill everything. The second area starts inside the plane. So we're gonna run up to the little box and hide behind it. And we're gonna actually put our turret up in a uh, little hidey hole on the top. As you can see where I toss it up here on one of the scaffolding pieces on the plane. As soon as you throw it, you wanna run back here. Not a lot of cover, so you wanna actually use line of sight, get low, deploy your shield, and just poke up a little bit. Now there's gonna be a red and a yellow uh, mini tank, and they're brutal. They will burn you down quickly, and they'll also launch grenades back here and kill you if you're not careful. Also got to watch out. Sometimes they will rush you and you may have to run back down and get the hell out of here. So I believe there's only like two waves here. Uh, like I said, um, mostly infantry. You got the two mini tanks that are here first. If you kill the technicians for the mini tanks, then mini tanks will stay in still. They'll still shoot you and still launch grenades. So be careful about that. Uh, there's also a purple sniper back there. That's it. This isn't too hard. Just uh, keep going from there. As you can see, I actually threw my turret, but it missed for somehow and it landed on the ground. But it does the job. Once you clear this area, run back down and reload because you're not going to, you can actually get to the next reload, but I think it's easier to reload here. It's safer. The next reload, as soon as you get to it, they'll actually, the enemies will spawn. And you could get in trouble. So, um, with snipe, there's some two snipers you got to watch out for. So reload here and then run to the next area. All right. So we're going to get ready for the next area. What we're going to do is deploy our turret on top of the forklift here on the right hand side, put it up top, it's a good location to actually help keep you cover and, uh, keeps them down so they don't rush you. Now, once you run forward, there's two snipers up top. You want to try to mark them. There's a yellow and a purple. If you can get them marked and do reasonable amount of damage, because they're not the worst because we're going to hide back behind the right-hand side and they won't get us, but it's nice to get rid of them. There's also a grenade dog that comes out, a purple grenade dog, and you'll have a bunch of purples and reds coming out at you. I think there's about three waves. It's not too hard. Um, as they rush you, though, you're going to want to sure you, uh, obviously take them down. Watch the grenade dog. It's probably the deadliest thing right now, and just be careful for it. Just keep in mind, this is not a speed run, so we're not trying to force things. We, we actually just want to complete it. So we're sitting back, uh, waiting for things. And as you see, I think the grenade dog comes up pretty soon. You can see it's grenade me. There it is right here. Uh, we'll burn it down pretty quickly, though, once we have focus uh, fully um, charged and we just start pinging it. So like I said, there's about three waves. And once you take out the first wave, you may have to kind of swing to the left a little bit just to get the, the next wave to kind of come in. But just watch out for those snipers if you didn't take them down. It's really, this is not too hard. So just keep, like, as you can see me running over here to the left-hand side. Right here is not a bad area to kind of hang out and uh, take the next few waves off. That's it. Let's move on to the next section. The next set, we're going to deploy our turret right here on this box here. And it won't start until we run through the hull of the plane a little bit. So run through, get it activated, 
and then we're gonna actually shoot them a little bit just so they come there's usually a dog up there right there purple or yellow we're gonna run a run back so there's always a purple and a yellow dog you want to kill those as quickly as possible i believe the yellow is a grenade dog and the purple is like a lucy machine gun dog what you want to do is mark the yellow dog if you can get it and light up the purple dog so you kill a yellow dog quicker you're gonna kill the higher tiered one the yellow one quicker because there's damage mitigation as you shoot it i believe there uh takes more damage but if you mark the yellow and shoot the purple it'll drop like it'll drop quickly once you're down to about one one individual one npc left then the next wave uh of these comes by and the helicopters are dropping they're dropping right now as you can see i'm trying to finish these guys up before uh they come on the ground there's a chungus in the back that drops and i think two three infantry come down from the front helicopter those are easy enough to take out but I try to mark up the Chungus in the back and uh, get him taken out quick. But he'll come through the turret. I'm sorry, he'll come through the hull. And when he does that, once we get really low again, you'll have two more helos drop down. I'm going to run back. It's not worth it. You'll get overwhelmed by Chunguses. Uh, the turret's still there. The turret will defend us a little bit. You'll see here comes the two helos now. And each helo has a Chungus. So there's going to be three Chunguses total with their hives. So I'm just going to keep running back until we get to the area we were previously, the other hull of the plane. And just hide in there. I know this is long and a little boring, but I'm just going to show you this. So I run all the way back here. Uh, my turret's out. They killed it. But we're going to redeploy the turret down here in front of me. And everything's going to rush me here. So once again, we're going to get low. And we're going to try to kill everything here. But we may actually have to run back to the first area. Um, not, it's not where, like I said, this is not a speed run. Um, I've done it better where I've actually killed all the chunkses here. But this one, I didn't, it wasn't so good. Uh, I didn't do so well where all the infantry came as well. So I had to deal with them as well. So you can see that uh, I'm going to play this one out a little bit so you guys can see what I did because it, it is kind of a nightmare at times, especially the infantry. And the Chungus is not a lot of cover here. And if they're not set up properly, then they just rush you and you die. So um, it's not worth it. So you just run back, get rid of your shield, run back here where the, um, you can run back to where the ammo is. Might as well re up your ammo while you're here. And then you'll see the Chungus start poking over and you can uh, ping them a little bit here. To do as much damage as you can. Try to get all three of them marked up so that way it helps out with the damage. But you don't have a lot of cover here. So once they get to a certain point and the other issue is you have yellow and purple infantry uh, coming down as well. They're hard to take out. So uh, be careful. And when it gets real bad, just run through the uh, get rid of your shield, run through these doors. And then this is a perfect choke point. You're not going to die once you're behind here. And they'll just keep coming down. What you want to do is uh, mark the infantry and then shoot the Chungus. And it's you're so far away that it, the hive should not get you from here. And you should be able to kill them by this point. That's it. Clean them up here. You're hiding behind it. This is a perfect choke point. There's not a lot of these uh, in this map, but use this one that you have it. All right, on to the next area. All right, after you've run back to the area and climbed up the rope uh, to get on the next level, the next set of ads are going to come here. So we're going to throw our turret up on this log and then deploy our shield and they're just going to come out you're going to have us i believe a red sniper and then just some infantry oh it's a yellow sniper my bad the red sniper's next uh the snipers can be deadly here they're long range and it's hard for us especially with the uh ar to shoot them like that just pull back a little bit and take out the infantry here then uh you can pull out m1a1 or something like that or a sniper rifle and take out the sniper itself once you get the sniper down we're going to move forward you can wait for your turret to uh cool down which is good and then deploy it on this uh log here Deploy your shield, pull back a little bit because it's going to be a red sniper. You're going to get some, uh, you'll have some technicians too with drones. That's why the turret's really good actually, because of the drones. It, it really does a number on them. Just take your time, take everything out, stay back, and you'll be fine. On to the next area. All right, so this is probably one of the easiest things, uh, easiest areas to deal with. What we're going to do is wait till your uh, turret's off cooldown. We're going to deploy our turret right up on the boxes here, nice and high. And then once that's done, we're going to run forward and just, just to activate. We're actually going to run right back to where we were. I'm gonna go over here. You're gonna actually scope out everything, target everything so you know everything's coming. There's, I don't know exactly how many waves, um, probably three usually. Most most things have three waves. There is one Chungus. Hit him and then run right back where we were. This is so easy. Once we get over here, we deploy our shield and we just do a right peek. That's it. Uh, do watch out. There are some uh, Grenadiers and they will need the hell out of you over here. So sometimes you have to pull back from the grenades. That's it. There's nothing else. This just keep poking. You don't have to go do anything. Um, when you get down to the last one or two guys, sometimes you have to run out there and uh, engage them a little bit. But for the most part, stay back here. Most of the time, they all keep running out in this area and you can just target them and shoot them and kill them. All right, I'm going to move on to the next area. This is so simple. Just do this. All right. 
All right, this next area can be easy, can be hard. It all depends on who you kill first because there are uh, a couple of um, mini tanks and they can be miserable. So what you want to do is take out the technicians as quickly as you can. So we're going to hide behind this truck right here the whole time. I'm looking around just targeting things. We're going to deploy our uh, turret on that little stump on the right hand side. That prevents them from rushing us to the right. But you do have to watch out for the left. They can come in around the left side and get you from behind. So just try to keep everything on the right hand side and peek left once in a while just to make sure no one rushes there. And try to kill those technicians as soon as you can. And get the dogs down there's a purple technician you can tell him because he's got the little radio the wi-fi signal on his head there's a red one take him down so i believe there's actually this one there's a yellow tank a purple tank and a red tank uh that's not too hard once you get those guys down uh you have i think two waves two or three waves they come over the wall in the back uh watch out for the minigun but if you hide here the minigun's not going to hit you uh just protect your uh don't let the mini the mini tanks will take out your uh turret quickly and once the turret's gone they're all going to rush the right side and you're screwed with the um Turret there though they won't rush which is great so just stay here watch your left side and just kill everything quickly that's it mark everything up and you'll be fine all right on to the next area all right first thing we're gonna do is hop up here we're gonna actually knock all these containers off here we're gonna actually shoot from here it's just, it's kind of in the way so just knock all everything off shoot the red containers blow them up and we're gonna deploy our turret right on top of that once it's stopped uh once the fire stops so just take a second deploy our turret and then we're going to start the encounter now to start this encounter you got to run all the way through and up on the structure over here where you see the the diamond once we start it we're going to run back through that door we came through the safety which is nice this is a choke point anytime you get a choke point especially when you have a right peak oh it's the best so we're going to hang out here you got three helos one on the back one on the right and there's one on the left we're actually going to take all the infantry out on the left one. It's going to be easy. Everyone in the back rights, the two back ones can't hit us right now. So we're good. So quickly take these guys out. Now, I probably could swing around and maybe take a few more out. But I'm going to run back here to the safety of this. And there's a Chungus here now. And we're just going to work the infantry. We're going to stay here for a little bit until um, it gets a little overwhelming. Or until we kind of take this first set down and they drop more infantry. Then we'll move back to the uh, next container. I'll show you that right now. So this is with the turret set up where we put it. This is probably the safest place to be. You got a right peek right here through this door. And you can sit here and wait for them to come. But I get a little antsy, so I kind of peek left and uh, take them out this way. Not much else to it. Uh, once the Chungus comes, uh, you can stay here on the left if you take too much damage. Peek to the right, and you don't have much of a problem. You can actually get a good view uh, down this corridor. And even with ND, you can like one shot, uh, one shot. You should be able to take out one by one as they run through the door. That's it. On to the next section. Once again, I'm not really sure how many waves are here. There could be two or three. I usually run back. I think there's two waves. Um, the first wave, a um, bunch of infantry here. Uh, a dog does come out. So I threw the turret up on the tarp, blue tarp. You saw me put the turret there on the tarp. And I just got to run back here and let them cycle this way uh, so I don't get killed too much. Uh, the one thing you have to worry about is the uh, dog is probably the toughest thing. Everything else, nothing's too tough. Um, there are some um, uh, drone operators, which will, as you can see the drones now. Uh, be careful of those, but for the most part, you'll be okay. Just stay back a little bit, uh, use ND when you can, mark, and kill everything else. Let's move on to the next area. This next area is two waves, and it's uh, a total of eight dogs, so four and four dogs. The first wave has a yellow dog and three purples. What I want you to do is, uh, we're going to put our turret right here, just a little added bonus of damage. What I want you to do is mark the yellow dog, and then mark, hit two purple dogs, and DPS the purple dog. Right? You'll burn the yellow dog super quick. Uh, you can see the yellow dog's not marked anymore. I remark it, and then just burn down one uh, purple dog with the yellow dog marked. You can see how quickly they're actually going down. And that's it. So you got to be careful, though. So once you kill this first set of ads, um, sometimes the next set doesn't spawn right away. And then sometimes you get one dog, then two dogs, then three dogs. Just be careful where you are. You want to stay back and then uh, activate the dogs. You'll see what I'm talking about here. I'll, I'll, I'll wait a little bit. I know I'm adding a little time to this video, but let's just uh, see, because I've actually run into a lot of problems. Let's see the dogs aren't coming right now. So you got to run out and uh, just activate. You can see one dog back there in the back right. Um, just be careful. Run up and run back if you have to, all right? It came out, so we're going to keep DPS in it, all right? That's it. Four more dogs here. So it's eight dogs total. First four on one wave, second four on the other wave. Same thing if you can. Uh, mark up the yellows and DPS the purples because you can do more damage to the purples and the yellows drop pretty quickly. All right, that's it. Next wave. Sorry, next area. 
this next area can be tough, but it turns out it's actually pretty easy. There's a lot of grenaders and they're real difficult. So what we want to do is get your ammo, run back to this tree behind the hole. We're going to, we're going to engage from back here. Um, I'm going to actually use my M1A just to start it off, get a couple pings on, but they're going to get close enough. We'll pull out the AR. What you don't want to do is don't let them get close enough, especially the grenaders. When you engage them from a distance, they will not throw their grenades, but if they get close enough, they'll start. And then that's when you get in trouble. Uh, when I did this, I got one grenader um, and it, he got a little tough. Uh, he got close, but it, I ended up taking him out. The rest of them never actually threw grenades at me. So I'm going to toss my turret over here. I don't know how well it did. Um, I think I got taken out pretty quickly, but I just threw it up on this thing and uh, hopefully it would, it would keep people from... Uh, taking me out on the left side, but I think it got taken out pretty quickly. I wasn't paying attention to it. I was more focused on the people coming at me. So just start the fight. I'll play it out a little bit and I'll show you the, as far as the AR goes. My original idea was to use maybe the M1A to actually just take them all out at a distance, but with the N with ND, I just don't do enough single target damage with the rifle to make it worthwhile. So I end up switching back. Once I notice they're getting close, I switch to my AR and I just start lighting them up. It does well enough because once you mark them, um, it doesn't have a, it doesn't matter with drop off because as long as they're marked, anyone close is gonna um, take full damage. And everyone behind is gonna take that full damage. So as you can see, just stay back here and you're fine. All right. So uh, this is the last uh, spot before the um, checkpoint so once you take all these guys out you still have a red sniper to deal with in the far um back right corner or front corner whatever you want to call it with a great way you go in for the boss so just take all these guys once they're done then you want to uh, go take out the uh, sniper that's it all right on to the boss all right so i did make one change to my loadout i changed out my m1a to a uh, pestilence and that's because i wanted plague because what ends up happening is the actual quads actually hide a little bit, so you can't continue to DPS them. And it's also hard to continuously stay uh, in their line of sight and DPS them because they shoot missiles and they shoot um, machine guns at you. So Pestilent works really well. You can load it up and let Plague do the work for you. All right, let's go over this fight. So we hop over the wall. We're not gonna deploy our turret, and I'm gonna tell you why in a minute. First, we're gonna come out the shield. We're doing our uh, AR, and we're just gonna take out as many infantry as we can before the actual uh, quads come out. Two quads come out. One comes out far left front, and one kind of comes out far right front, right? Now, the left one, I noticed, if I threw my turret out, the left one got involved. If I didn't, I only had one, I only had to deal with one quad at a time. So the left, the far left quad stayed over there. So you can see it off in the distance. It doesn't, it doesn't see it coming in now. It's going to fly over to the side. I leave it be. And you see where I'm hiding right now? This is the best spot to be because the other quad won't hit you. Every once in a while, a missile will fire to the uh, left side and then uh, you'll take a ton of damage. And this is where I'm talking about. See, it's hiding right now. I shot it with Pestilence, switch to my AR, deal with some infantry, because they are gonna come left and right. They'll keep coming. Um, here it comes back, so get my uh, Pestilence out and load it up. Now, it will shoot you and hit you, but if you stay in cover next to the container, it actually will miss a lot. That's one of the keys. Make sure you're in cover when it's directly overhead, because it does count as cover and it will miss a lot. It'll still hit you sometimes, but not every time. And you just stay here. And keep doing this like i said most of the time the missiles won't hit you if you stay in that one spot the far corner uh right next to the boardwalk once it fires two or three sometimes it fires three sometimes it fires two just be careful and try to get those uh get uh plague on it as much as you can just stay here watch your radar because you'll have guys sneaking around you once in a while and once you get enough infantry down once you kill enough infantry then um a uh chungus will show up and a new wave of um, enemies and a medic. So the medic will stop bringing people up. You wanna make sure you take that medic out. Um, this is it guys. As you can see, it's about um, halfway down now and I just keep loading up plague on it. When it's overhead, I shoot it. Once this one goes down, then we take out the other uh, quad and we just rinse and repeat. That's it. That's the fight guys. Just be careful of those missiles. The missiles are the only thing you really gotta worry about. Infantry can swarm you, but they're not too big of a deal. Just watch out for the missiles. That's where I am right now is the best spot to hide. I know this was a long video and I apologize for that, but I just wanted to give you guys enough information from my, um, I don't know, I, I was grinding this for about a week, week and a half of just diff trying different things, trying to figure out the best way of doing this without dying. I hope you still enjoyed it and found it helpful. If you did, please hit that like button below and leave a comment if you have any questions. I'll do my best to answer them. If you'd like to see more content like this, then please smash that subscribe button. And you can also follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Maniocrity, where I stream Friday, Saturday, and Sunday evening, starting at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Till next time, agents, happy hunting.